Welcome, students. I'm Mrs. Smith, and you're watching TAP, The Art Project. The artist I'd like to share with you today is Pasita Abad, painter and trapunto artist. You might be wondering, what's trapunto? Trapunto is a decorative stitch technique that's similar to quilting. Now let's get started. Pasita Abad was born on October 5, 1946 on a small island in the Philippines called Bosco Batanes. The daughter of politicians, Pasita intended to follow in their footsteps when she got her degree in political science. As an activist, while continuing her studies, she organized and participated in student-led demonstrations to protest a corrupt government. Things got a little scary when a threat was made against the Abad family. For her safety, Pasita's parents sent her to Spain to finish her studies. She decided to stop in San Francisco, California to visit family along the way. San Francisco was a huge culture shock for Pasita. She was energized by the vibrance and amazed by the freedom of expression she saw. So she decided to stay. While applying to schools, Pasita worked two jobs, volunteered helping refugees, and was active in Asian American politics and cultural affairs. Her interest in art began when she moved to a groovy new neighborhood known as the Height Ashbury District, a community of hippies, artists, and free spirits. In 1973, Pasita met someone special. Together, they spent 12 months hiking throughout Asia. She was inspired by all the unique styles of art in every country they traveled to. It was life-changing. When Abad got back to San Francisco, she called her parents to tell them the news. She wanted to be an artist. In 1975, Pasita Abad began her journey around the globe. As she traveled, she painted. She traveled to Egypt and Greece and France, where she experienced an illegal immigration raid. Then to Washington, D.C., where she began her first formal training at the Caracan School of Art. In Guatemala, Abad spent a month painting churches and Mayan ruins and meeting local artists. Back in Washington, D.C., she got to meet the influential abstract painter Alma Thomas. Pasita Abad also had her first art show. She'd painted 70 pieces of art so far. Take a look. What do you notice? Abad's next stop was Bangladesh, then Nepal, where she volunteered in aiding refugees. In 1981, Pasita began using new techniques like trapunto. She could roll up her canvas and carry it anywhere now. While living in the Dominican Republic, she visited Haiti and is influenced by the Drapo voodoo flags covered in sequins. Here's some of Abad's work after she began using trapunto and beadwork. Can you guess how big these works are? Abad's Trapunto works are 7 to 17 feet tall. That's like two and a half Mo Mambas. Throughout her career, Pasita Abad exhibited her work in more than 200 museums, galleries, and other venues around the world. In 2004, Abad went to Singapore to paint the Alcoff Bridge. While battling cancer, she used 55 colors and covered the bridge with 2,350 unique circles. 
The iconic bridge, an extension of her series Circles in My Mind, would be one of her final projects. Of her work, Pasita said, I always see the world through color, although my vision, perspective, and paintings are constantly influenced by new ideas and changing environments. I feel like I am an ambassador of colors, always projecting a positive mood that helps make the world smile. <laughs>